After 50 years of independence, Kenya is still unable to reach out to many of its citizens. Though there is free and compulsory education, many still cannot afford to attend school. The presence of missionaries in the country has helped a lot in the areas of education, healthcare, and social services. Salations of Don Bosco from Turin, Italy, arrived in Kenya in the year 1980 in the month of June and were given the parish of Siakago in the Diocese of Meru. However, it was felt that they should have a presence of their own to implant the charism of Don Bosco. At the invitation of the then Bishop of Meru, Monsignor Silas Njiru, under which Embu was situated geographically, the Salesians were able to start a community of their own in Embu. Salesians of Don Bosco is a Catholic religious congregation which was founded in Turin, Italy. It is present in 132 countries. It focuses in helping the needy young people in the society. Here in Kenya, they have 11 communities. Embu County is located in the eastern part of Kenya, approximately 120 kilometers northeast of Nairobi. The county, also known as the Land of Opportunities, has a cool and wet climate favorable for agricultural activities. Don Bosco Embu is located along Kiritiri Road, which is approximately seven kilometers from Embu town. It was started in 1983 and became a community in 1986. From 1987 to 1988, Don Bosco Embu hosted the first novices, that is, young men studying to become Salesians. It also served as a pre-novitiate with three batches undergoing their studies here. Since its beginning in 1983, Don Bosco Embu had various rectors who nurtured the school to be where it is today. Don Bosco Embu is an institution compri comprising of three main departments. We have the secondary school, technical school, and the farm. The secondary school has uh, 265 students. Technical school has uh, 85 students for now. And the farm, of course, it's for only for the production of food for the students of this institution. Don Bosco Embu Technical Secondary School started with standard eight and the first lot of 40 students reported on 25th February 1985. Through the hard work of the Salesians, well-wishers, staff and the students, Don Bosco has grown and helped many young people achieve their dreams. The first group of Form 1s reported in 1986 and was the first to sit for their Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education in 1989. Besides the secondary school, the management also worked hard to establish a technical school. The Technical Institute has various departments which include carpentry, joinery and cabinet making, masonry, motor vehicle mechanic, 
arc welding, electrical, fitters and tanner. Its objective is to impart technical skills to the students enrolled in the various trades to enable them advance in their future careers. The institute targets young people who are not able to raise money for their education. Most of our students are from simple families. Some have been street boys. Students not only benefit from academics, but also get holistic and moral education. We try to form our students in holistic way, holistic manner, spiritual, academic, also technical. Students get an opportunity to develop and showcase their talents. They engage in extracurricular activities like playing soccer, volleyball, basketball, athletics, music, and scouting. We take our time to promote the talents of our students. We equip them with some skills in music, games. Our band is one of the best bands in the county. Over the years, both the secondary and technical schools have contributed immensely to the pastoral and educative needs of many youngsters. Many of these young people are occupying very influential positions in the country while others are working in manufacturing companies and a great majority are engaged in self-employment projects. Those students who are in secondary school are encouraged to join courses in technical school so that they may be able to have certificate in uh, technical studies also at the end of the four years to have certificate in Kenya certificate of secondary education. When our students finish this institution with our office in Nairobi, which is called job placement, we try to get them jobs in factories or in other institutions that will be able to employ them. And we have a number of students who have succeeded, who have done a lot. Who, there are some who are doctors, we have engineers, some others have joined even in the forces. We have a number of students who are composers of music for a presidential band. Others are in the presidential escort. I ran in that on Don Bosco Embu and I am proud for Don Bosco. Whatever you teach, many skills you have, for, you teach how to be a good person. The institute also has an agricultural farm which produces food for the school. We have got the cattle, we have got the poultry, we have uh, rabbits, then we have the piggery, and the other side we have got the fish pond for tilapia, and, and then we have got the production for, I mean cheese production unit as well, and then we have the farm where we are farming 15 acres maize may and 15 acres beans. And the remaining part of the land is used for animal grazing and for preparing the hay for the cows. Despite its success, the institute is experiencing a few challenges. In the beginning, we have those who will be called donors, you know? those who are benefactors, and those who are able to support uh, this institute. But as you know, nowadays, things have become more difficult. Funding is not easy. So we have challenges in the side of uh, financing because what you want to do is to help those students who are poor, those who are marginalized. But it becomes a bit more difficult nowadays to get funding. Of course, the other one is that the change in the attitude of our young people, you know, there are many challenges in the society. So that's why we all insist on the spiritual part of, uh, uh, of education. We cannot say that we are okay, we need some support, really. But uh, with our determination, with our efforts, with the help of God, we are able to play even.
They hope to expand where many more young people can be given the opportunity to study and fulfill their dreams and find a sustainable future. We want to increase the number of students is that we don't have rooms. The room is not enough. We have been trying to get what you call the funding from donors, but it's so difficult. I would proudly say that I am a, a product of this school, this institution, being the first of this bunch that came to this school in 1986. Don Bosco is, is an extraordinary school with extraordinary programs needed to assist those people who are even cannot be known out there, who will just perish out there. If they get to Don Bosco, they will get a place that they will be assisted. My Lord.